We are the Lilo family. Welcome to Bibisht, Albania. Enjoy your visit! Bilisht is a town of about 11,000 residents, the municipality of an agricultural region of 44 villages. We serve alongside the Bilisht Evangelical Church, which is the only evangelical presence in this entire valley. Obviously, the fields are wide for the harvest, and there is plenty of work to do. The building you see in the background is the place where the Evangelical Church of Vilish gathers. The church has been present in Vilish since 1994 when short-term mission teams came to partner with local believers for door-to-door -door and open-air outreach. This was shortly after communism fell in Albania. The dictator had proclaimed Albania an atheistic nation and was quick to imprison, exile, or execute anyone who is suspected of betrayal. However, since then, in partnership with global believers, the Albanian church has been established in every city in this country. Since we have freedom to share the gospel here in Albania now, we are taking advantage of that with all of our hearts. Even though those who confess Jesus as Lord are still less than 1% of the population, the church is advancing. It is not easy. There is much apathy as a materialism mentality consumes this generation. But on the other hand, people are blinded by a superficial religiosity. They have reclaimed their family's religious identity prior to communism. But are agreeable to throw coins into a orthodox shrine, tie talismans on their babies' wrists to ward off the evil eye, and keep Ramadan fast all at once. Many of the kids that I invite to our youth group don't come because of religious backgrounds, but I'm glad for the few that do. This superficiality and tolerance that people want to portray does grant us many opportunities for conversation and outreach. The church is the incarnation of the gospel to all ages and stages. So we see God bringing people to himself, starting with the preschoolers that repeat Sunday school songs at home, all the way up to the elderly that feel God's mercy as believers come and visit, call and care for their emotional and physical needs. This is my Sunday school class. We use whatever tools are in our disposition to embody the gospel. For the youth, this might be English classes or guitar lessons or weekly fun meetings alongside Bible teaching, going on evening strolls together, or having late night chats on social media about the important things happening in their lives. One of the outreaches is soccer for middle schoolers. I can't wait to play with them. It is precious to see some of the youth commit to following Jesus and encourage one another toward holiness and wise decisions. A strong group was baptized last summer and we're looking forward to new baptisms this August. We have seen growth in the adult believers too, as we explore together what it is to be the church. We are convinced that the gospel touches every aspect of our lives holistically. That starts with the right relationship with one another and the right priority to seek and know the Lord. It also gains face and feet as we care about people's practical needs. So a ministry of solidarity is a way we see God steering the believers' hearts. This ministry is offering practical help, food, and medical care for the weak or marginalized, both within and beyond the congregation. 
We partner with prison ministries to visit and bring food to families of the incarcerated. And recently, we were able to give hearing aids to five people, two of whom have been almost deaf since toddlerhood. Imagine when that dad heard his children's voice for the first time. People understand, understand that the gospel is not theoretical, but very, very tangible. On Valentine's Day, we made some cards for the old ladies that cannot come to church because of COVID. And we delivered them to their houses and they were really happy. God has been very faithful and we see him working in our church. Pray that people leave their old life and follow Jesus. Pray that the believers would love each other. Pray that people would know God through the ways we serve them. Pray for my friends to love God. We hope you enjoyed the visit. As we continue to serve alongside the church in Bilisht, we invite you also to come and join us. Please pray for the kingdom of God in Albania.